Today I will show you how to make this VHS night vision effect. Take it back right now, you try, yeah, try Yo, hello, it's Povika Smerting Visuals here, and let's begin. So the first thing you'll want to do is right click on your clip and press pre-compose, and here press on move all attributes into new composition, and here you can type like whatever like night vision, press ok. Now go to the pre-composition, and the pre-composition layer you'll want to go to composition, composition settings, and here you'll want to make the width to 720 and height 480. Press OK. Now it's gonna be zoomed in, so what you'll want to do is press S and make it to like 37.5. And now what you'll want to do is press Ctrl Alt Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here we will go to effects and presets and add night vision and place it on top of here. You'll see you'll already have this sort of night vision look, but this is definitely not what we want. So we'll have to change it. So in the opacity of solid composite, make it to 48%. Uh, in noise, make the amount of noise to 15%. Change the transition completion of Venetian blinds to 20% and that's it. Now you'll want to add CC Vignette. Just add this below everything. All right, now you want to add Signal. Uh, this is a plugin, but it's not that bad if you don't have this plugin. You still will have the night vision look even without it. So in Signal, I just set the signal strength to one and now you'll want to add exposure. Make the exposure to 1.63. Now you'll want to add four color gradients. Uh, here you can pick whatever color you want, but I will show you what I like. Uh, so in blending mode, make it to color. Now I like to make the blend to 32 because I don't want it fully. And I like to make the jitter to 100%. Now for color green, for this color, I like to pick like color green. So this is my hashtag for the color green. Uh, if you want the same one, just copy the hashtag here and and uh, I will you know, I'll press this button and I will copy paste it like this. So now both of these sides are going to be uh, green. And now we will set this to purple. Uh, this is my purple hashtag. If you want it, just copy it. And I will do the same thing. I will take this pen and I will copy it. And that's it. Uh, now you'll want to add another signal. Uh, you, you, you can change like the random seed to whatever here. I really like changing the random seed to like something like this. And I like to change the signal strength to 71. Uh, signal amplification to 0.2. Cut off filter to one nine six eight eight and that's it now add wave warp uh, you'll want to make the wave type to smooth noise wave height to 33 wave width to one and direction to zero and make the pinning to horizontal edges that's amazing we almost have the look and the last effect is very optional it's s flicker uh, you can add it if you have sapphire and now we have the basic effect this is mostly just a night vision effect it's a bit vhs but we will fix that we will make it fully vhs all right now go out of this composition go to your first composition okay it's zoomed out so what do we do of course we scale it up so press s and make it like 260 67. So what we can do now is we can press Ctrl at Y and we can add motion tile. Uh, let's make the output width to 70. And now for the most important part of making this to an actual VHS night vision is to add some overlays for my VHS pack. The pack has a bunch of overlays and you can just really mess around with a lot of them and make this effect way cooler than I will show you right now. But this version I will show you is also really cool. So you can open my pack here and you have these glitch overlays, which a lot of them you can just use for this night night vision and I will show you a couple but first I will want to show you one of my favorite ways is using this overlay this is this has got to be one of the best overlays you can possibly have if you want to make VHS type of videos just take it and drop it now it's going to be zoomed in so what you'll do is press s and make it to 50 because it's 4k and now you want to just press blending mode and go to overlay and make it below this adjustment layer and now you will have this super cool vhs look uh this like old 80s vhs look i don't know i really love this look it's absolutely a must to have this pack if you want those vhs looks uh i can show you way more examples here if you have the pack then the possibilities are almost endless i would say you can go back up to the pack and you can add like vhs glitch overlay so a really good one is vhs overlay 60. So yeah, just drag it. Don't forget to scale it down unless you like it like this. I don't know. Let's make it overlay. By the way, a lot of these overlays really work with screen as well, like with the blending mode screen. I just do it overlay because it's like more of a color correction. And now look at this insane look that you get. I mean, I do recommend usually adding this without this overlay. So just having this overlay then. Just look at that look. Another overlay you must try out with this is VHS overlay 10. Just add it below. You know, uh, just cut it up until it plays press s make it 50 percent blending mode 
and make it overlay. Maybe scale it up a bit more, like 53, so you don't see that. Uh, maybe a bit more. Okay. And this is the look you will get. Basically, it gives you the VHS look right here. Uh, these VHS glitches. Another overlay that I really think you should check out is 55. So just drop it. Do the same thing. By the way, every overlay works here. I tried out over 20. This video would take like 20 minutes to just show you everything you can possibly do. So I just really recommend to check it out by yourself. But look, you get this glitch. This right here, I just, I love this little glitch that you get. And you can really mix it up with other overlays here. Like this one, like both of them. Another cool one is VHS overlay 54. What I like to do with this one is like, I actually like to make it to a screen. And then you'll have this. And you can use this for a lot of transitions. This pack is a must buy if you really want VHS looks or night vision looks, whatever. And the last thing I want to show you is how to actually save the preset. You can go back here, press on one of the effects, press Control A, go to animation, save animation preset, and call it whatever, call it like VHS night vision and press save and whenever you'll want to add it you can just go here and type vhs night vision and just drag it and drop that's it all right guys i hope the video was helpful if you have any questions then please let us know uh, we can get back to you way faster on our discord server where we have also other editors which can help you there as well and also i really recommend checking out our instagram and that's about it all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya